Thank you, yeah. This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macron's Jim Marbell. I'm at the press conference today for the Battle of Brum. With me, I've got undefeated fighter Michael Rooney as he looks to establish himself and keeps his winning record going. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Good. I'm really good, thank you. Yeah, uh, just excited to get in there now. I was going to say that. How excited is it to be on a big card in your hometown in front of all your own people? Yeah, no, over the moon, to be honest. Obviously, I was, was fortunate enough to get on the last uh, Birmingham show. Uh, so. I've done it before, but I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased, you know what I mean? And it, it, it's a stage that I want to stay on, and big fights keep coming to Birmingham. Hopefully, I can keep showcasing my skills on them shows. Do you not feel like sort of responsible to deliver big fights and big shows in Birmingham to sort of keep the big time boxing coming back? Yeah, no, definitely, yeah, of course. Like, like, it's, just, it's great for everyone if, if, if uh, big time boxing team in Birmingham. We've got great fighters like Matthew who, who've, done, who've done things all over the world, and Sam Eggington's coming through, Frankie Gavin. There's a lot of good lads, a lot of good lads around my level as well, real good fighters and and it's, it's an opportunity for all of us to show everybody what we're all about. I mean it's quite disappointing for Frankie Gavin that he's had to pull out off the main event. Credit to Dal Evans for stepping up and yep. taking his place. Him and Egerton have had that war before in prize fight. Yep. But how do you anticipate the main event playing out on Saturday? Uh, it's only one winner for me, Sam Egerton. I think he's, uh, I think he'll win it well. I think he'll win it, win it comfortably. Do you know what I mean? No disrespect to Dal Evans, but uh, I think Sam's improved a lot. I think obviously he's been in full camp. It's a bit, a bit of a late call for day 11, and because of the fact that Sam has got a, a loss on his record from day 11, he, he, he'll want it. You know what I mean? So he'll, he'll wanna, want to want to avenge that. So I think I only see one winner to be to be honest. How good do you think Sam Eggerton can be in your honest opinion? He's 22 years old today. He sort of came out of nowhere in terms of moving up the records and the rankings in the last year or so. How how good can the finished product Sam Eggerton be in your opinion? You know it. Well, do you know what? Where, where, where is the finished product? Because you know what, he's very young and he keeps improving. So it's hard to say right now where he could go in five, six, seven years. But massive improvements from him the whole time, and and it's great to see. Do you know what I mean? Because he was in the in the gym previously, and I, th I think initially he just wanted to go on the road boxing and stuff. And so John Peck's yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like that by itself, what an achievement! And look, look what he's done. And he's young and he can keep winning and keep improving. Then. Who knows where he could go, and it's fantastic for him. From Michael Rooney's point of view, what do you want to achieve this season? What are your goals and what are your aspirations to, to accomplish this year? I want to look towards titles next year, in the, in the beginning of the new year, and see where we're at. And look like definitely, I want to keep winning, keep improving, and I want to I want to start getting some recognition, whether that be titles and recognition like boxing on shows like this. And you know what I mean? Just just keep stepping in, stepping in the right direction. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You've got the MGM behind you, such a yep. great team, and such great a team. such a good network of fighters coming through at the top end, at the middle end, and even they're even supporting a lot of the fighters that you see week in week out yeah. at some of the shows. So. If anyone can do it, you've got the platform to go and do oh, it. Yeah, no, right? most definitely. The best team around me, great group of lads. Seamus, Matthew, Daniel, all the lads over in Spain. Fighters, yeah. top class fighters from, from all levels. Our first world champion last week. So it's fantastic, you know what I mean? And uh, it's, it's, it's a good movement to be a part of, and, I, and I'm proud to be a part of it. I bet. Listen, good luck Saturday. I'll see you at the Thank you, James. Anyway. Yeah. Go out there, enjoy it, mate. And uh, we'll catch you again. Good man, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Same, man.